Hello and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 113 of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. We, uh, we finished up the tomb in the last episode and we got to ride a basilisk into battle. And immediately upon landing, landing there were some fools who thought they could hold us off. That didn't work out so well for them. It, um, it went pretty quick too. Oh, interesting. Okay. So that's how they keep you from backtracking any further than the Merchant Quarter. They, uh, just everything fell down. Went boom. And that is not there. I should be able to loot that guy. I really should. It's a shame that I can't. Oh, but this guy. I'll get his 37 bucks. And, ah, uh, that guy really should be able to as well, shouldn't I? Anybody over here? No? Okay. We've, uh, recon reconnoitered all <laughs> the salvageable equipment. Yeah, that, that makes it sound more appropriate and professional and stuff. Um, uh, anything in this corner? Nope. Sorry, just checking to see if any of the lootables changed while we were, while things happened. Because we appear to have a new map. Alright, nothing there. Nothing there. Somebody's going to be on repair duty a lot. Alright, uh, oh! Oh yeah, they, they pretty much railroad you into this one. Because the only way that's open is the, the skyway there. Or the sky ramp. So before I do that, let's go ahead and take this opportunity to level everybody up real quick. Because that never hurts. And here's what I wanted to know too. Alright, so my constitution, my base constitution is 16. If you remember from uh, episode 109, early in the recording series, one of the things I was complaining about is to figure out which implants I can and can't use. I never actually see the base stat anywhere. So all I see is the Constitution 23, and it's highlighted in gold to let me know it's been modified, but there's no way to see the base. So I don't know if uh, I am I need more Constitution or not. And looking at this, because I want the high-level implant packages which I can use to bump all the other scores, I really want that constitution to be up to 18 because I need that to make everything else work. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, bump that up to 17. And then when I get my next uh, stat bump, I'll bump it up to 18 and then reassess from there. Uh, like, I really, I really could use a, a little more wisdom or... No, actually, I could probably use more dex or strength. Ooh, and skills, all the usual suspects. Uh, ooh, awareness or stealth? Because now, now that I have the stealth skill, whether I want to or not, I'm tempted to go... Yeah, let me go ahead and put another point in there. Uh, it seems whether I want to or not, opportunities to use stealth are a thing. Um, oh, I do have the heavy, heavy armor option, but... Um... There is no heavy armor that I can wear that's not going to interfere with the force powers. So I'm not going to do that. Oh, what was it? There was something I was definitely going to do. It wasn't... Not... Oh, stealth run wouldn't be bad. That at least gives me the option to run in stealth mode, which... But I don't plan on using that that much. Mobility is always an option. I don't need finesse. I'm not... Uh, dual strike's always an option. Uh, but there was something... There was something that I definitely wanted to do, and I don't remember what it was. Might have been toughness. Extra hit points are always good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was toughness, because as much as I like to use caution or empathy or gearhead... I got minions for that kind of stuff. 
so well conditioning could be good but that's just going to give me a flat plus one plus two plus three for each feat whereas the second level of vitality or of toughness uh improved toughness is going to give me uh damage reduction on top of extra hit points so let's go that let's go that route and powers. Let's go ahead and get the Master Battle Meditation. Alright, that takes care of me. She gets a couple of skills. She is my Master Stealth. Every time I've needed somebody to craft something that requires stealth, I've brought Kriya into the group to do that. Because she's the one who has that skill maxed out. Ooh, what powers do I want to give her now? That was one of the problems, wasn't it? Oh, that's right. I was working on getting her the shield. So there we go. Four shield is now improved. And Mr. Mandalore, a level 22 soldier with your two skill points because you're intelligent. Uh, treat injury and awareness because what else are you going to do? Demolitions? All right. Well, that gets everybody squared away. My constitution's back up to 27 total. Um, yeah. I didn't realize just how much I was enhancing a lot of different things. All right. Interesting. Let's save that before we go any further, because we just did all that leveling, and it'd be a shame to lose all that. All right. And uh, oh, here we go. I recognize you. You're that off-worlder. Come, we have no time. Baku's forces have overrun the sky ramp. The royal palace could fall any minute. We must save the queen. Save the queen. The plan seems to have succeeded. Your enemy has indeed revealed himself. Hmm. I anticipated the Sith. But those beasts, those beasts weren't in my battle plan. Even now, Vaklu is using them to breach the palace. <laughs> I will not surrender to that usurper. I would die first. Every man here would give their life to keep that from happening. There is hope. It is faint but growing stronger. I think my message was received. <laughs> you think? Which message? What are you talking about? An old student is returning. <laughs> I don't think the Sith are going to know what hit them. Nope. This way! This way to the sky ramp! Alright, just for the sake of filling out the, the rest of the map. Alright, that's everything there. To the sky ramp. Dun 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 dun. There are two force shield checkpoints along this path. Vaclu's forces have held this ramp for over a standard hour. <laughs> that means they control the checkpoints now. Uh. If we can get to the turret tower up ahead, we can deactivate the first barrier. The forces we're encountering right now are their rear guard. The fighting will get tougher the closer we get to the, sure the battle line. That's what I've been hearing all this time. All right. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Come on. Fine. We'll do that. We'll uh, get that in. Get the speed in. And I think these guys might be uh, weak enough that I can start queuing up the power attacks. Okay. It is you. Alright. Oh my. That, uh... That went quick. Eh. Oh. Hey. The royalists in the bunker are contained. Support. We deploy as soon as the reinforcements arrive. A Jedi? Here! <laughs> Men, attack! Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Okay, fine. Let's do this. I seriously think you're gonna stand back up? No. <laughs> Do the wave. <laughs> oh, that that wasn't even. I mean, 
Did that did that seem unfair to you? Because that seemed a little unfair to me. I, I'm not exactly complaining per se, but that that just that. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's see. There's supposed to be a workbench of some sort here. Is Hold it in here? Fire. They're with us. Thank you. Oh, Backlur beautiful. Backlur supporters stormed our position. Beasts. The beasts have gone mad and attack on their command. Please, go to the palace. Hmm. We received a transmission that the palace grounds have been breached. If so, they don't have much time. Have they changed the access codes in the turret tower? We need to get through the force shields. I don't think they've had time, sir. They've been firing the turret non-stop. <laughs> Backloo's close to having air superiority now. Not for long. You two, follow the Jedi. The rest of us will hold our position. We don't have much time. Alright. Um, there we go. There's the workbench. Let's upgrade a couple of things. And this means... Because uh, that's plus one wisdom, plus one charisma. That's damage and attack uh, that is damage okay yeah that's the upgrade I want right there um, okay cancel that assemble that that's the double bladed saber and where is equipped equipped did, did I not just... And I'll see Mandalore's armor repeating. He's got the Vibro sword. Where's her... Oh. The, the short lightsaber is not upgradable. Well, that's good to know. Is there anything here worth taking? Just the red crystal. Okay. Uh, what else was it that I wanted to do? I... Oh, that's right. I That... Xerxium is fully upgradable. 3 to 25 base. So I wanted to take the repeating rifle. And I wanted to pull the scope. Pull the targeting chamber. Because that's normally 2 to 12. So we'll assemble that and we'll go here. So 3 to 25 plus a crippling scope plus a Mandalorian chamber, plus a pure Ryloth power cell, brings that up to 11 to 65. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can't do anything with Mandalore's... Uh, Mandalore's armor, but... Uh, I forgot that I have a power that allows me to add my wisdom to my defense, but only when wearing robes. So even though the Zinsen Shah Initiate armor uh, does not interfere with my, does not restrict the use of force powers, it does interfere with that ability. And I think I can get a higher defense out of that ability and get some force regen as well. Because a lot of this is coming out of the Ballistic Shielding Mark II, which gives me some damage immunities. Uh, but if I remember right, I can't put in, that gives me regen and constitution. So let me see what of those I can put in the gray Jedi robes. Because that's a defense bonus of plus one. I can't put the ballistic shielding in there, but I can put the bio restorative. All right. So while I'm thinking about it, let me go ahead and put uh, that back in there. Okay, so, I think that was everything I needed to upgrade. So that means what I can do. Right now my defense is 33, so if I swap that out for this guy right here, which increases my charisma as well as my constitution, and gives me regenerate force points as well as regeneration. Alright, that's a defense of 33... Defense of 34. So the robes are going to give me better defense out of that entirely. Nice. And Mandalore was going to go from that repeating blaster to the... Uh... <laughs> oh, 
Oh, man. Oh, one damage? Are you kidding me? That's... Hmm. That's sad. All right. Let's get that in there. And... Ooh. Not upgradable. Okay. Never mind. And I guess that means that Freed and Nad's short sword is not upgradable either. Okay. All right. Um... Yeah, no, she's got about as good as she's going to get. He now has as good as he's going to get. I've got some upgrades of my own. Now I wish I hadn't gotten rid of the uh, the other Jedi robes. I, I wish I'd remembered that bonus. Oh, well. And while we're here, since these two have another level to go, let's uh, go ahead and... Ooh, let's get her... Dexterity up. Because her constitution's already at 18. Let's get her skills as they've always been. Let's get. Hmm, feats are a good question. Uh, I feel like I'm missing some opportunities with her as well. Uh, let's go ahead and just get her improved toughness, because uh, she keeps running into combat, even though, even though there's no good reason to. Although, she might be a candidate for the advanced Jedi defense, but let's at least do the improved toughness first. All right, powers, and she gets two of them this time. So let's start with the top of the line force armor. And you know what? Force resistance might not be a bad idea. Let's do force resistance. Okay. And let's level up Mr. Mandalore again. Uh, there we go. Let's get his constitution up to 18. Let's go ahead and do his two skills. And for feats, uh, he's already got the top level toughness. He's got the top level precise shot. All the close combat. Is is there anything else? I mean, I guess I, guess I could do the, the better blaster pistol, but I'm not giving him a blaster pistol. Ah, let's go ahead and give him the, the master conditioning. Ah, it seems like it would be the best best use. All right. Nice. Let's go ahead and save that work, too. Okay. Alright. That also means that, um... Mira... Ooh. I did all that and didn't even loot the lockers first. Rocket. Automation gloves. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got some armor out of this, too. I'll have to rearrange equipment later. Except that meditation band. Uh, that bumps will save and wisdom. All right, that that might be worth it for uh, awareness. Yeah, let's give her the meditation band. Large locker empty. Large locker empty. Large locker. Armored flight suit. Ooh, that could be nice. Don't mind me. Dominator gauntlets. That could be useful too. Uh, you sure he doesn't have any equipment he wants to put forth to the cause? All right, starting to look a little more like an actual Jedi now too. All right, so there's the barracks. There's some equipment. Uh, this is probably going to turn out to be a blind alley. That is a blind alley. And we got the captain and some other expendable. What else we got? Surely. Uh, oh, oh, this is probably... Yeah, I don't think this door is going to be a problem. 
Is the nope. still We're under attack, man! Oh, how nice, Captain Obvious. <laughs> I mean, Master Power Attack does seem slightly overkill, but... <laughs> I mean, he didn't exactly have a whole lot of health left on him. Alright. Come on. Uh, I hate the blurriness. Master blurriness, apparently. Alright, plasma rockets and 53 bucks. I could use that. The palace has been breached. Access terminal. Enter the code. Access granted. Uh, access turret control. Alright. Control the turret. Uh-oh. Looks like a minigame. I don't like these mini games. Ah. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, for serious. Fire! Is there another one? There's probably another one. Where is he? I hear you. And your little friend, too. Turret probably isn't helping. And he appears to be flying under my uh, aim. Under the gun deck. Okay. Nice. We eventually got it. Alright. Uh, there was other stuff I wanted to do on the terminal, though. Deactivate the barrier. Okay. We've taken the palace. <laughs> the beast's progress is remarkable, but it will take time, General. Yeah. The throne room's force shields are far stronger than normal shields. Our plans go well, Toga, but we are still vulnerable until she is dead. Even now, we all unravel. Redouble <laughs> your efforts. We disturbing news from the city. As you command, General. It's almost like it takes the speed of plot to get there. All right. Ooh, what other systems can we... Okay. We can't get to any other systems there. That appears to be... everything except for those poor remains. Okay. Nice. Alright, those guys are waiting for us there. Is there anything else up this way? No. Alright, I don't see anything else. Uh, sound dampening overlay? Okay. I gotta, I gotta double check what, uh, what stuff I can put in my robes. What overlays and underlays. Because I don't, I don't think there's much that you can put into Jedi robes. I looked all that stuff up earlier. Yeah, let's do the wave. These guys appear to be weak enough that I can actually get some more mileage out of, uh... A Jedi Knight is assaulting our flank! Hold the line! Hold the line! Uh, prepare yourself, reinforcements... Uh, let's try to get him surrender. Okay. I tried to get him to surrender. Get those power attacks in. Alright, what remains in his remains? A prototype shield? Okay. Good, some reinforcements. 
Follow the Jedi. We're gonna retake the palace. <coughs> We've got to stop General Vaklu before he gets to the Queen. Yeah, I keep hearing that. Oh. Well, if these Sith are anything like the ones I've... Force shield is up ahead. <laughs> it looks like it's been damaged by orbital bombardment. Nice. Uh, you might be able to bash your way through it with your lightsaber. Thank you, Captain Exposition. I was well on my way to handling this. He's still alive. Run! Run! <laughs> uh, go ahead, run. I will not harm you. All right, I will not harm you if you leave now. <laughs> well, that's one way to thin out the enemy ranks. Oh, well. I mean, I said I wouldn't harm them. I didn't say they wouldn't get hurt. Hold the line. Those cowards will be dealt with. Hmm. I wonder if this means I don't have to fight them until later. Oh. One of Aklu's slicers has control of the security grid. He blew up that power conductor. Hmm. Their slicer has to be using a palace security terminal. They've already locked Oh, I think I know who they're using. On the sky ramp. Until we deal with their slicer in the palace, you can bet that there will be more surprises up ahead. Because uh, we ran into a slicer not too far back. All right. All right. Let's uh, let's go ahead and do this. Do this. And we want you. Uh, let's trade some power attacks. See how that goes, eh? Yeah, about as I expected. Um. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody's got a case of the lootables. Oh, there we go. A lightsaber. Well, I mean, I was complaining that I was short a lightsaber. And that gets me more than a lightsaber. I've been giving everybody else a chance to leave. I'm surprised that, uh... I didn't have that option here. I didn't even get a chance to do the second force wave. They all died before I could. Alright. You... Oh. Eh. The emitter probably isn't worth it. Because I can craft just about everything I need. Royalist that officer. The room. We must get to the queen to protect her. If you're heading to the palace, we'll follow you there. Okay. The palace itself has been breached. Uh, let's go then. Is there anything else to explore? No. Off to the way, to the Royal Palace. I probably should have paused made before it to there. The palace. General Vaclo's troops haven't been here too long. Hopefully we still have time to save the Queen. Straight ahead is the God throne God save the Queen. Vaclo's hand-picked troops will probably be here. I'm going to stay here and keep the intersection secure. <laughs> if any more royalists yeah. arrive, I'll keep them organized. You're not going to have your backup anymore. All right, so here is a good place to save the game. And a good place to take a break. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And... If you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. 
And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or open your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.